guys, Cindy out here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, I've been playing and I just, I figured I'd turn the camera on and show you guys what I've been up to. Okay, these are little like cupcake holders. And look what I've done. I've made these, I think it's hard for you to see, really cool butterfly resin pieces, right? So here's one. I've got a few of them over here. This is what I was actually doing around, playing around with yesterday. And I wanted to see, oh, look, I didn't have enough resin in that one. Whoops, where am I? I didn't have enough resin in that one. See the hole? Hole's right there. But you know what? That's okay because I can actually use that um, to tie beads and stuff too. So I just wanted to show you what I've been up to. Here's another one. This is another butterfly. I do have stuff other than butterflies, just so you know. Um, I'll get those out in a second. All right, so here's another butterfly. That one looks kind of cool, too. You can see the, see the butterfly ridges on it. They're much better up close than they are, um, you know, on the camera, which is always. Here's another one. This is just a little bit of leftover resin that I used. Again, this one has a little bit of hole in it right there, which is fine. This one's still not completely set. As you see, I can bend it. So let's do this. Let's bend it up a little bit. And we'll have ourselves a sitting butterfly. How about that? So I'm going to bend it up a little bit. And then I'm going to let it dry like that. So hopefully it'll stay with the thing in it. Alright, so here's another one that I did. Um, this is just angel wings. And I used clear resin with a bunch of sparkly on it. My dog is trying to get out of my art room. I told her she had to stay with me for a few minutes. Look at that. Aren't those awesome? And again, they're just in clear resin with some um, iridized glitter in them. Right, I'm going to put some of this stuff on here. See, this one's already going down. Too bad I couldn't get her. Yeah, see? See how it's laying? I don't know if you guys can see that. It's laying right back down. When I lift it up. It's laying right back down, so that's fine. Whatever. All right, so let's see. What else have I got? Um, I got this little dude. It's a little flower. And this, I think, is a Martha Stewart uh, mold. I probably got it on clearance is the only reason I have it. So we've got us a cool little flower. And it's got a fun couple funky things in it. You know, I just wanted to see if the resin would take those things and if it would eat at it or if it would just leave them be. And it's just left them be. Um, this is another little flower. Now this I just decided to sprinkle a little bit of glitter on the top of it. I wanted to see if any of it went down through. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm experimenting. Yeah, none of it really went down through. Just an orange flower. But look how easy you could take these and um, you can cut all the edges off. And you can paint these up real easy. See, it, it got some of it through, but not a whole lot. Next time I have to learn how to lightly sprinkle it. So yeah, I'm just playing. Here's another one. Funky looking flower. We'll, we'll make some more of these again too. Oh, and this one has, can you see it all inside? It has a little owl in it. <laughs> I thought that was kind of neat. And then, here's the last one that I have. This one is a little birdie. This one is definitely not set up all the way. The reason I can tell is because it bends real easy. So basically for resin, you've really got to let it cure for 48 hours. Um, this is about 24 hours. There's a little hummingbird. Isn't he cute? So yeah, I want to show you not really the finished product, but what stage they're in right now. And like I said, these have to completely um, harden, so it's going to be another, you know, 24 hours for these to be solid, solid. So I guess if you wanted to do any manipulation to them, like this one here or the one with a hole in it here, now's the time to do it. 
but you would actually have to hold it. You know what? I'm going to try something. Let's try something. It's all about experimentation, right? I've got a little rubber band over here on my webcam. Sorry, guys, playing with my webcam there. So I have this little rubber band. So let's see if when I put the... Let's see if this is too much on it. Let it go through there. Oh, it got in it. All right, well, we'll just leave it like that. I'm going to see if by leaving it with the rubber band like this, if it'll actually dry hard. I don't like the way the rubber band's in there. Let's try it a little bit different. See, that little piece right there is not connected at all. Let's try it. Let's try it down here instead of up there. Okay, it's not quite as. I wonder if that'll hold it. No, it's not tight enough. Hi, baby. Hi, baby girl. Any of you guys that don't know, I have a. She's a. Her name is. Her name is Daisy. I call her Pucky. I have since the day we got her. And um, she's a Cavalier King Charles. And she is a stinker. Alright, so let's see. Will that hold it? Okay, that's going to hold that. So, here it is. This is the angle I'm going to try to get it to stay at. So let's put that there and hope for the best. Right? Okay, so now what I'm going to do today is I want to make some more of these, but I wanted to show you basically how I did it. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that won't touch resin because they're intimidated by it. All I can say is don't be. But make sure you have gloves. Make sure you have, um, I use these. These are just little disposable plastic cups. Um, the biggest thing is once resin dries in something, you're not going to get it out. So be careful what you use and how you use it because, like I said, there's some of it you aren't going to get out. So let's start off with, um, actually, let's start off with getting our resin. Okay. These little cups, what I have, my resin, I'm just going to show you because I'm going to have to sit it back over there. It's called Amazing Clear Cast. That's the name of it. I've got these pumps on top, thanks to a dear friend of mine. And that was part B, and this is part A. Okay, so there's two different solutions that have to go together. If you use one without the other, it's not going to set up. So basically, let me see if I can bring these over here so you can see. So basically what you have to have is you have to have even parts of both the A side and the B side. So I'm going to pump one. Okay, and I'm going to take that little bit off the tip. And the reason being, that's, that's a whole part right there. So, I don't know if you can see this. It's not very far up. It's like not even a quarter of an eighth of an inch. Okay, and then here we have part two. Now, part two, actually this is part A, but it doesn't matter, um, is very um, thick. So you have to make sure that you have um, even of both. Once you get even of both, I'm going to do another pump and another pump. And make sure we have both. All right, so I'm going to set this aside. Now, you can use um, you can use wooden stir sticks. You can use um, they have actually kind of like a flat uh, I don't have one right here, but another stirring stick. These I happen to pick up at the dollar store for something. I don't even remember what, but that's what I'm using right now. So basically, the biggest thing about resin is you have to make sure it's completely, completely um, incorporated with each other. First thing it does is it turns this, this like cloudy, right? So we're going to keep going. And the advice of my dear friend was stir and stir until you think it's done and then stir a little bit more. Now what will happen is this resin will come back to clear. So basically what you're doing is you're getting those two chemicals together. Can you see where it's starting to go clear already? It's starting. It's not done yet. 
Um, so it takes a little bit. You've got to stir it. you got to keep it going. Um, I know some people pour it from one glass into another, that kind of stuff. I've never done that. I do a lot of um, painted cups as well. So, uh, you know, and I use this as a cover, as a um, last coat on them. And I've never had any issues without pouring it, you know. So I just make sure from time to time I get whatever's up on the sides because remember we've got to have equal parts in here. Doesn't mean it has to be perfect, but it does mean we need equal parts. So this is almost ready. Now it does have air bubbles. See all those air bubbles? That does not bother me. There's little tiny air bubbles in there. I'm not sure if you can see them on camera or not. But there's a bunch of little air bubbles. I don't have an issue with those. And that's one of the reasons that um, people do it back and forth in different cups. Now this is ready. It could be stirred a little bit more. But I'm doing this for that one correct? I hope not. Um, epoxy. I use baby wipes. You have to pick it up as soon as it goes. If it hardens, you are in not no luck okay let me show you this is one of the cups that I actually did for my sister Sista. Um, and this has one coat of epoxy on it it is not finished I have a couple places I need to sand down and then I'm gonna put another coat of epoxy on it but this is what it's gonna turn out if it's just plain clear like this right so I don't want just plain clear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another cup or two. All right. And I'm going to take some of this. I don't know what she's after. I'm going to take a spoonful here. And I'm going to take a spoonful here. This is why I like using these spoons too. You can kind of measure what you're doing. Half of a spoonful. Pucky, what are you doing, babe? I, um, a friend of mine gave me this um, ball that's got holes in it, and I put a couple um, treats in it for her. She's all excited. All right, so now I have three little cups of resin that I can use. Um, these are, I believe they call these soap dyes, but or, or maybe they're epoxy dyes. I can't remember, but they came from China, I think, um, because, you know, I'm all about not spending a lot of money if I can help it. So what I'm going to do, these are actually quite strong, so I'm going to put two drops of the yellow in there. Actually this says orange, and this one says deep orange. I don't want deep orange. So, Alright, so let's do orange. Let's do a little bit of red. Let's see what happens. She's still after that thing. Now this one seems a little bit weaker, which I'm not sure why. I don't know. All right, set these aside. I'm gonna take another little spoon. I'm just gonna mix these up. And basically it goes into an orange. Pretty orange. Pretty yellowish orange. Okay, so I did that. Now, what I'm going to do is I have this mold here that I've been wanting to play with, so I'm going to make some little flowers, right? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my epoxy, and again, this is why I like having the um, spoon, because that way I'm not trying to pour it and getting it all over the place. And sometimes you just got to push a little bit with your device, whether it's a spoon, a stick, whatever you're using and just make sure you get it in all the little places. All right, so I'm gonna do another one. Now, as you can see, this resin actually goes a long way. Um, I have two pumps. So with that two pumps, I can actually coat a cup. Um, let's see, what other one do I wanna do? Let's do this one. I can coat a cup. I can, um, you know, make lots of cool things just with two pumps of it. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna have to coax it a little bit to the outside. This flower might be a little bit thinner, but I don't think so. I just have to make sure it gets into all the nooks and crannies. 
Okay, now this, I'll put a little bit more in there. Okay. I cannot reuse this again unless I'm going to, within a heartbeat, um, put more in this. And the, one of the reasons you don't want to reuse your cups is remember what I said about having equal? This no longer would be able to give you equal because there's some stuff in here already. So there is a possibility of using that resin and um, not getting the correct um, chemical or the correct whatever. I'm going to set it aside. Actually, I'm going to send it where I usually send it, which is the trash can. Okay, so we have another one here. Actually, let's use this one. And this one I can actually use this spoon. So we'll use that first. Let's do some... I don't know what this says. It's so hard to read them because most of them are in Chinese. Is that one open? Nope. So we're going to open this one. I haven't used a whole lot of these. And let's get some whatever this color is. I put a few drops in there because I want a stronger color. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now let's say I've got this beautiful color and I want some sparkle in it, right? So these flowers are just going to be plain yellow flowers that I'm going to um, probably, you know, add some little paints to. So let's say this one I want to have kind of shiny, right? So this is glitter. Which what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, this is my spoon, and I'm just going to take and put that much glitter in. That's probably a lot more than I really need, but that's all I need. So I'm going to mix this up in the resin. And now look, we have sparkly resin, right? So let's do a couple of these big flowers. Let's do this one. Just a minute, baby, I'll let you out. Just a minute. All right, so here's the sparkly resin. Okay, and it's up to the sides. If you go over a little bit, don't worry about it. You can actually cut off, um, you know, the extras. Um, it's <coughs> not a problem. <coughs> this resin's getting in my lungs. <coughs> Pardon me, guys. I've got asthma, and sometimes my lungs don't like this stuff. Just a minute, Puck. Can you guys hear her talking? She wants to go out. Just a minute, baby. Just a minute. All right, so there's those two. Now, I don't have enough resin. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right here. I don't have enough resin to do a complete new flower, right? But I'm going to put that there. I'm going to let my dog out real quick. Whoops. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to continue these other, the rest of these flowers. See, now this spoon, unless I want the same exact color, I can't put it in there. So this goes over here. Give me one second. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. She's still behind me, but that's okay. All right, this one I've used. The top's already been clipped off it, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do three, because I want that kind of a dark blue. Actually, there's one hanging on the tip. All right. Same thing. I'm gonna take a spoon, a clean spoon. Ooh, look at that blue. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I would like it maybe a little bit darker. Nah. All right, but then this blue, we're going to put... We're going to put some of this gold in there. How's that sound? So again, this is just a gold glitter. See? So I'm just going to put... This is like little lines. That's good enough. And we're going to mix it in. Alright. And we're going to do the same thing here with the flowers. 
Now this one is part purple, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw some blue in it. There we go. Now we get a pink and blue flower. Now if you get really creative with these, you can do so much more. I'm not using these right yet. Um, you know, you can do different swirls. You can do so many different kinds of flowers or, you know, even pieces. I'll actually show you dog hair. Imagine that. I'll actually show you um, some of the resin that I had left over that was on a sheet. What I did with it. All right, so there's that one, and let's throw this one in here. So there's one, there's two. Resin isn't something you have to be really precise about because, like I said, you can you can cut little edges. You cannot cut the pieces in half because they're just too big. All right, so I have a little bit of this resin left over. Um, these I'm going to put over here on my tray so they can dry. It's going to take them a while. Let's see, what do I want to do with this a little bit? Let's throw it on this bird. So I'm going to use up what resin I have here on this bird. He doesn't need to be all blue. And then what I'll do is I'm going to, I'm going to uh, mix up some more. And we're going to put another coat on top of him. All right, so let's mix up some more resin. One pump of A side, clean off the tip. One pump of B side, clean off the tip. Let's see, let me do two because I got other stuff I want to do. One A side. These, um, um, tops, uh, the push tops, I'm not sure what I call them, um, they are wonderful because then that way you know you have exactly two parts. If um, you do it just the normal way, then you have to do it by eye. I have done that before and I'll tell you sometimes it's really hard to get that ratio together. So I really like having the um, two parts the, with the pumps. The pumps are so much easier. So again, we've got to mix it. Right now it's really cloudy. Make sure you get all of it off the sides from the bottom. Because like I said, it has to be the two part or it's not going to harden. Now the reason that um, the ones you saw I had that were soft, that's because they haven't fully, um, I don't know the word I'm looking for. They haven't fully gotten their, what do you call it? Oh, they haven't fully cured. That's the word. I was looking for the word cured. All right, let me show you something. This piece here, I'm actually going to make some more of these. It's hard as a rock. Okay, so that's what you're going to get out of those other molds once they've cured 48 hours. When I first took this one out of the mold, I could bend it back and forth. Now I can't. For some reason this one is taking a little bit longer because I'm talking. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to. It's just lots of it. So we're going to keep going. Uh, let's see. What else are we going to mold? Let's mold some. Oh, I told you I'd show you how to do one of these. These are very simple. I'll do a couple of those. Now I'm thinking about doing a full one of those and making it, I'll show you, but it's going to take a long, long time to cure and to dry, I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. All right, let's get all of this down off the sides. Um, it's getting there. See, it's still kind of cloudy. Can you guys see that? It's still cloudy. So what that means is you got to keep stirring. So we're going to keep stirring. I know, I'm sorry guys, you don't want to see me sit here and stir, but that's what's happening. Get a couple extra cups. I really would love to find um, 
And you know, maybe I can find it on Amazon. I'd like to find something that I could mix the resin up in, take like a baby wipe, rinse it out, and then mix up another batch. Uh, it doesn't quite work with these cups. I've tried. Because I really don't like putting this much stuff in the landfill. But till I find what I'm looking for. Okay, that is still cloudy. And we're just going to go with it because I'm going to see what happens. I'm not quite sure why. Oops, get back here, you. Again, make sure you have gloves on. This stuff is, yeah, it's got a lot of bubbles in it, that's why. Um, this stuff is sticky, very, very sticky. It's very hard to get off your skin. It's hard to get off anything else. So let me finish up this bird. I'm not sure what color, let's see what color. We got red, let's do yellow. I'm going to do it on this first. There's, yep, yellow's been used. And I'm going to have that quite bright, so I've got four drops in there. Now let me show you, you can do this with a stick. Actually, I think the sticks would be better to work with, but I'm going to use up those spoons and get done with them. Alright, so do we want to put a little bit of Let's put a little bit of something in here. How about, let's do some silver. Wrong side. Whoop. Okay, now she's got silver yellow. Glittery yellow. Now the hard part with this is see, I can't use, I don't have anything to actually move the resin with, which is why I like these. I can actually control where the resin goes better. This should be an interesting looking bird. Now it's got to go into this hole, so I'm just gonna oops, mix it down into this hole. Alright, now see how there's resin on top of that? That's no big deal. Um, what I can do when I take it out is I'll just break that resin off or cut it off. It's no big deal. All right, let me make sure we got a little bit here. We need more. I think we need more on this whole bird. Yeah, we gotta fill it up. All right, so here's our yellow. We're gonna put this over here to dry. It takes 24 hours to get it the way that I um, showed you the first ones. But see this one, it's no longer, I don't have the ability to break it. I don't have the ability to do anything. I can drill through it with a Dremel and use it that way. But let me show you how I was making this little round one. I actually used just a silicone cupcake holder. And what I'm gonna do, let's do this one a little bit different. Let's put a big purple flower in there. And lay it in the middle. What else can we lay around the outside? Let's do some buttons. There's a little button, there's a little button. Here's a little button. Uh, here's a couple more little buttons. Alright, so we just got some buttons around the outside. What else do we need? How about a star? Let's put a couple stars in between our buttons. One there, one there. Now this looks like it's a pain in the butt, but it, they'll turn out really cute. Um, I need another star. I don't see another star there, so. <clears throat> I actually have huge bottles of this stuff and the reason I do is at one time I made um, themed dolls. I had a ball with it. Is it eyeballs? Oh, not another little star. Hmm. I want one more little star, darn it. Right there. All right. 
So we're going to put one more little star here. This one over here and this one here. Then we have a little star, a couple buttons. Alright, so let me bring in. This is what I've got. Right? Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put our epoxy on it. This or resin, you can call it either or. Um, this is just the yellow that was left over. So what I'm just going to do with that, so I'm just going to drizzle it here and there. Let it go wherever it needs to. So I'm on the side, no big deal. Alright, so that's the yellow. Alright, there's that one. Okay, so let's do let's do some orange. Is this orange? That's deep orange. I want the light orange. We're gonna take the light orange. Now you can also do this with pigment colors. You can add pigment colors into this. You can add um, oh, pretty much anything I think into this stuff. All right, we got to have this have a little color in it. So what are we going to put in here? Um, orange and... I don't know. Oh, i got these little beads. Let's try some of these little beads. Why not? Put a few beads in. Ooh, that was a lot. All right, so we put some beads in there. That's okay. All right, so now... I have to keep tightening these things up or moving them because if not, I'll spill them. So, graceful Cindy here. So, I'm basically going to do the same thing. I'm just going to kind of drizzle this. See how it turns out. This is going to be a little bit bigger layer. So, the yellow should be um, actually on the bottom. I didn't think this, I should have done it the other way around. But that's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Alright. Sorry this video is so long, guys. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. Alright, so there's that orange. Now let's throw a little bit of red. Here's some red. I'll make it pink. Now there's also white and black in here. Um, they make some really cool uh, images also, or, you know, different colors also. I'm going to make that quite, oops, there's one more in the end. Um, so don't be afraid to use your black and white if you decide to get into this. I will tell you, doing the resin, it's not cheap. I mean, it's not overboard expensive, but it's not cheap either. It uh, can be really expensive depending on how you you know, where you buy your stuff. Put a little bit more on there this time. This is just, um, it's called Crystal Glitter. This one, I don't even know who it's by. Oh, Gary M. Berlin and Company. It's probably old. Alright, and then we're going to put this on top. Now, I'm not going to use all of this on here because I really don't want a real thick um, thing. I just want to make sure that all of those little pieces are covered. Make sure they all are deep set in there. Alright, so there's that one. We're going to set this one over here to dry. Isn't this fun? I think it's cool. Let's see, what can I do? I have a little bit here. Um... Let's just do these real quick. See if I have enough to fill a few of them. Yeah, this I enjoy playing in this. Um, I play with it off and on, but I really I was up to my friend's house playing in her resin. And I'm like, oh, 
I gotta go home. I have a bunch of molds I want to do. So that's where I ended up doing this today. There's so many other things I want to do in the art space, and I wish, you know, I wish I could do them all for you guys, but unfortunately with the chronic pain it's quite difficult to do. So I try to show you what I can when I can. And that's the best it be. So I'm just trying to get the last of this resin. Let's do this little guy over here. Just kind of push it towards your edges. Oh, and I have enough for this little guy right here. Yep. And I know we have enough for this little dude. Come on. That's about all it needs. All right. So there we go. I'm going to let these dry. And what I will do is, as soon as they're well enough to take out of their molds, um, I will be back on and we'll show you what they turned out like. All right, I'll be back. All right guys, so I told you I'd show you what we did. Now these are the ones that I brought out and showed to you. And I took that um, rubber band and I put it around this to make it stay and it stays. So um, you don't, once you do that, don't bend them back or you're just gonna crack it. So now I actually have a dimensional butterfly if I wanna put it on a canvas. You know, it'll look like a normal butterfly. So anyways, these are the old ones, or the other ones that I had done. Now let's see what we come up with on these. And then I have two others I want to show you. So let's just take out the flowers. And basically all you have to do is bend your mold and they'll come right out. There's one little bitty orange flower. These aren't, like I said, these aren't going to be really um, detailed just because they were just, you know, little bits of epoxy. There's another one, but these would be cute on a journal page or, and you can always paint on them or make, you know, detail. Oh, look at this one. That oh, oops, can you see it? It's got the glitter in it. It's so hard to show glitter and it's part blue and part purple. So that one turned out really cool. These are the reds with the glitter. And again, there you go. That looks so neat. This one's the red or pink with the glitter. Very cool. And here's the blues. There's the one blue flower. Isn't that pretty? It has such detail on top. I mean, all you have to do is really lightly go with that with a little white. And you'd see all that detail. And then here's another one of these. This one has the flake glitter in it. Can you see the flake glitter? And that's like this one here. Same idea. And this one, like I said, you can tell I had my ratios messed up because it's still really flexible. These um, are not. These are not flexible at all. So this one I definitely had my ratio messed up. But anyway, so there's those out of the flowers. Let's grab these. These are just little flowers. Little pink flowers. Oops. Little bitty one. Another smaller one. Right? So there you go. Just out of a little bit of epoxy, you've got a whole little set of flowers here. Alright. The let me bring it in so we can do this a little bit closer. There we go. This is the hummingbird. we're going to pull out. Now, here's one thing. Remember what I said we got we got happened to get epoxy like on this. Look. Here it is. It just pulls off. It just comes right off. This is what I had scraped on the side. It's no big deal. Just wipe it off. And it didn't stick on the hummingbird. So this is the side that we poured and here's the hummingbird on the other side. Isn't he beautiful? We've got a little bit of extra right there. We'll just pull it off. He's so cool. So now I have two hummingbirds. I love them. Right there. Okay, now the um, cupcake holder, the silicone cupcake holder. Here is your. 
Now this, um, as it continues to cure, I was hoping it'd get a little bit lighter, but I don't think this one will. But there's your cupcake holder. I mean, what a great little flower, wouldn't that be? Here's the original. Now this one I did with, um, it was like a neon yellow, and this um, liquid, uh, the, oh gosh, the epoxy dye was up at my friend's house. I don't happen to have the neon colors or the fluorescent colors, but I kind of like this because you can see more through it versus these. Now you can do this lighter and just not put as much orange or yellow in there. You can just do it with um, you know, one drop just to give that tint. So there's those. Now one thing I did is I had some extra um, resin here that I wanted and I had this idea that I wanted to try. So I didn't do it on camera but I am going to show you the results. Okay, this one is a butterfly and if you see I got all kinds of goodies in there right and it's thicker look how thick that is and how cool is that it's just it's clear um, epoxy and I just put all these little pieces from this jar that I have sitting here I just threw a bunch of little pieces in there and this one came out now I like this. This is really cool. It's big. It's kind of, it's not real heavy, but I love the fact that um, you can see all the goodies on the inside. I love that. I think that's really cool. All right, so I didn't stop, of course, with the butterfly. I had to do one of these little guys. This is, again, another um, either cupcake or a little tiny banana. Uh, bread or I don't know but it's a silicone and I decided to do this little oh the the butter the ladybug didn't want to go in here's this one you can't you can feel that a little bit right here but the ladybug I kept pushing her down in and apparently she didn't want to stay in because she's now back up to the surface just a little bit right there but yeah I had fun just I just wanted to see what would happen and this just gives me so many ideas of things I want to do I just love it so yeah what am I gonna do with these two I don't know I'll find something to do with them um, you know I may have to take my Dremel to them and get some holes in them but I thought these were really cool and I love the fact that even though this is so much thicker than these, um, the epoxy set, I wouldn't mess around with it too much until it has another 24 hours or so. There's two little bubbles right there. You see that little bubbles on the side? See them? One, two. Um, but I wouldn't mess around with them a lot until they cure maybe another 24 hours. I think if I was going to drill a hole in these with these, I probably won't. These are just testers. Um, I would do it now because the epoxy is not as, I can feel it give. Um, it's not as solid as these are. Oh, well, that one's not solid. This one. Yeah, it's not like this. Sounds it, but it's not. But what I like about this is the fact that it's thicker. I just, I love that. So anyways, let me bring it back out. We'll show you what we made. Whoops, wrong way, sorry. Yeah, so this is what we made with um, my Muse this month. I just, I had a lot of fun with it, and I'm sure I'll be doing more. And here's the other ones. Sorry if there's a glare. There's not. But these are just, I love them. They're amazing. So now... I have all this cool stuff to play with. This one's still kind of sticky. Like I said, these, this one didn't set very well. But these are all solid, which is good. That's okay. <laughs> I love that little bitty owl peeking out from there. Anyways, um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope it's taught you a little bit about the resin or epoxy, whichever way you want to call it. Um, and I hope you get some and, you know, play around. If you have any molds, play around with them. Um, I will be doing this uh, type of a muse again, but I have something else I have planned for it. So I hope you guys look forward to that. 
And always, as always, don't forget to um, have fun. Right here. This is fun on a platter. Have fun um, and happy creating. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.